What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. How are we living today? My name's Liz if you are joining us for the very first time and our mission over here is to take the intimidation out of luxury because everybody watching this is deserving of luxury. In today's video I'm going to tell you all about my very first ever sales associate experience in a luxury boutique. I know a lot of you have been asking for this video before I ever had this experience, I always wondered what was the best way to go about finding the right sales associate and the right fit for you. Meeting a sales associate, building a relationship with a sales associate. Maybe you guys are wondering, Liz, how are you gonna tell us about your first sales associate experience and in the same breath, give us relationship building one-on-one -on -one advice? You guys may know, you may not know, my full-time job is an account manager. I work for a tech company and my entire job is to build relationships with executives at very, very large corporations. I know one or two things about relationship building, so I hope to answer all of your questions in this video and just hang out a little bit, have a little girl time. Without further ado, if you guys wanna hear my sales associate story time and maybe learn a couple tips and tricks for building a relationship with your own sales associate in your hometown, then keep watching. If you guys have seen my Nano Speedy video, I'll link it here just in case you haven't seen it. I got my Nano Speedy in a very almost unorthodox way. It was really luck. Okay, too much. If you guys want to hear about that, check out the video. But here I met my very first sales associate. There's a couple things that signaled to me this is the person for me. They were proactive, they were super friendly, and they were super professional. Those are the things that I'm looking for in a sales associate. Maybe you're different. Maybe the most important thing to you is that somebody is super friendly. Maybe you actually don't want somebody who's super professional. Maybe you want somebody who's more laid back. Make sure you identify the qualities you're looking for us in a sales associate before you walk into the store, okay? It doesn't have to be the first person that walks up to you, okay? I hear a lot of stories and I've experienced this myself of going into boutiques and sales associates maybe not being the most friendly, the most helpful, uh, maybe even being a little bit rude. You have no obligation to work with those people, okay? Don't be afraid to go into the store and already have in your mind what kind of vibe you're looking for. You are the customer, you're spending your hard-earned money. The most important important thing is that you feel comfortable and confident. That kind of goes back to another tip. I'm not telling you you need to dress to the nines and get completely dressed up when you walk in, but I think that there is something to be said uh, when you look good, you feel good, and that confidence just exudes from within. So I think that that's really important just for your own sake, just for your own like mental well-being, you know, feeling good, looking good, walking in there with that kind confidence. It's also really important to know when you're working with sales associates that they all have a different intent, right? Some are working off of commission and then some aren't. So depending on the brand, maybe important to figure that out beforehand because then you'll have a sense if your sales associate is pushing you towards a product. Okay, are they gonna make commission off of this or are they actually genuinely thinking that this is a good fit for me? So my first essay experience, um, I, I met him in this boutique. I could see that he was straight to the point. He was super friendly. He wasn't trying to talk me out of the purchases that I wanna make. He wasn't trying to talk me into purchases that I didn't wanna make and that is super, super important to me. When I was asking for these super rare items, he was of course being super upfront about them too, like the likelihood of them coming into the store, the likelihood of me ever being able to get my hands on them. And that's what's important to me. I want somebody who's upfront, blunt even, but in a kind way. And this person really completely matched that vibe. I'm talking a lot about how I want my sales associate to have a certain level of professionalism. Well, guess what? If that's what I'm asking for from them, then that's also what I need to be. So I think it's really important that however you present yourself, you present yourself in a way where you want your sales associate to match the vibe. Other things to consider, like I know for me personally, I'm not walking into the store just to peruse. That's just not me. Maybe you're comfortable doing that, but if I'm walking into a store, I already know in my mind I want to walk away with, you know, X, Y, or Z. So already off the bat, I know I'm here with my wallet, okay? I'm not here to waste anyone's time. I'm not here to film. I'm not here to diddly-daddly. 
And that I think is super important when you're building a relationship with somebody. You don't want to waste anyone's time. I also just am always, always conscious of being respectful to everyone around me so that sales associates and other customers. I'm not like drinking in there. I'm not eating in there. I'm not being loud. I'm not being obnoxious. Um, but at the same time, I'm being myself, right? And then after the sale, I made sure to follow up with him, texting him in a week saying, hey, I love this bag so much. Just want to thank you again. Also, I'm interested in X, Y, Z. Do you have any in store? Do you know how I can get my hands on them? And just already starting to build that relationship. And then every couple weeks, just touching base, right? Always, you know, check in with them. Go to them before you go to anyone else when you hear about a new product. You know, if you're looking for a new bag, make sure you text them first. Maybe they are making commission, okay? And you wanna give them that chance to get that commission. You don't wanna go behind their back or anything like that. So just some relationship building 101. You want to treat other, and this sounds so stupid when I'm saying it out loud, but really you'd be surprised. A lot of people don't carry this into their professional lives, into their personal lives, but it's super important to treat others how you want to be treated. So like I was saying, you want to come in with a certain energy, expecting your sales associate or the person you're working with to match that energy. So I present myself with a certain level of professionalism and that's what I expect from the sales associate working with me. Obviously, this goes without saying, right? It's super, super important to be as kind as possible when you're talking to literally anyone, anywhere, at any time, but of especially when you are talking to the sales associate who might be going out of their way to help you, might not be getting commission, um, those sort of things. So always keep that in mind. And again, I hear a lot of stories about sales associates, you know, being rude to people and things like that. Just also keep in mind that they're human, we're all human, we all have bad days. They're at work, right? I mean, think about all the bad days you've had at work. I know I've had plenty of bad days at my day job. And so just keep that in the back of your mind too. There you have it, guys. That was my experience with my very first ever sales associate. I hope this was interesting or helpful to literally anyone out there. If it was helpful for you, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you stuck around this long. If you're not sick of talking about luxury, I'm going to link two of my very favorite videos picked especially for you on the screen here and until the next one I'll see you in the next one